Oh, thank you. Last time I had a pop of color, I was in prison. <laughs> Are we cosplaying as Harley Quinn and the Jokers? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. All right. <laughs> Suicide Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's Bianca Del Rio, and we're back at the Pit Stop where we recap all things RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 8. And today I'm delighted to have our fabulous guest, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All Star 6, the fabulous Miss Kylie Sonique Love. Hello! Well, hey there, sugar. How are you, sugar tits? I'm good. How are you? I am doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. And I know that you have not been here in a hot minute. You haven't been here since you won All Star 6. I have not. Yes. Yeah, and I was wondering, I was like, why didn't this bitch call me? Well, I did, but you know, the whole prepaid phone situation uh, was a little difficult. Yeah. But we did get through to you, and I'm glad that you're here with us. Yeah, I got a new Cricket phone. <laughs> For those who don't know, Cricket phone is a cheap phone. <laughs> Gotta teach the kids. I'm on your line, though. You're on my line? Yeah. <laughs> I forget how country you are until you talk. <laughs> I'm on your line. You're on my line. Yes. <laughs> Most people don't know this. I have not, truly have not seen you in person since that night we were at my apartment with Miley Cyrus. Do you remember this? A little bit of it. A little. <laughs> we drank! Oh, we love Miley. We that drank. was a good night. That was a good. It was good, a lot of tequila. A lot, because that's all I had in my freezer. I get, yeah. Girl. Tequila. Girl. Yeah, yeah, we can't tell the rest of the story. We here. can't. No, we can't, we can't. Before we go any further, I have to say, isn't it amazing last season that one of our good girlfriends actually took the crown, Miss Sasha Colby? How do you feel about yes. that? It's definitely a big win for the community. Of course. Just to see something great happen to somebody who's also great was, I don't know, this made me really, really happy. Are you ready to dive into All Star Season 8? Sure. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Let's do it. What do you think of the group so far? Now, we know this is episode two. It's a nice, eclectic group. There's definitely a couple that I'm really leaning more toward. Yeah. Like Jessica Wilde, and I'm not just saying that because she's my season two sister. I'm like seeing somebody who I have never met yet. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always known she was talented and fabulous, but it's something about girls from earlier seasons that get sent home that have this fire in them. We've had to sit over a decade yeah. remembering what we did wrong and analyzing that and then seeing everything that's happening after that. So I think it's a great idea to have girls from earlier seasons come on. Like I you. agree, and yeah. it's been 13 years, is what Jessica mm -hmm. said, 13 years since she was on the show. There's something about those earlier seasons where the queens did not give a They didn't give yeah. a back then, and now they really don't give a because the show is on a different level now, globally and the fact that it's everywhere. So it's so great, I thought it was wonderful. When you got to come back, I'm like, yes, these are the bitches we wanna see. So in the first episode, we sadly lost Monica Beverly Hills, but the question is, were you happy to see her come back and compete, especially after all this time? You know, I was happy to see Monica come back. I try not to have expectations on anybody, but I was really hoping that we got to see more from her and I felt like it was kind of almost a mirrored version of the same energy that we got last time, yeah. you know, like yeah. being nervous or scared or whatever, like you're already there, girl. You already got the job. Yeah. Now you just need to show up and work. Yeah. And you know, all that other stuff, you save that for your pillow at night, girl. You f put your your panties on, girl, and you go out there and you kill it. I gotta get me can a pair of those. Can I say that? Yeah, you can say that. I can say that. You can say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to get me a pair of those panties. Yeah, you, you should. Well, I mean, yeah, you should. <laughs> what? I'm not allowed to have panties? Yeah. Oh, okay, just checking. Just checking. What size would I wear? Um, extra medium? Uh, an extra medium. A medium. <laughs> A medium. <laughs> it's like between small and medium. I got it. Medium. <laughs> <laughs> On the flip side, Kahana Montrese became the first winner of the season. Do you think that's a good confidence boost to win right away? Absolutely. I mean, she went home very early in her season, and right. then like next thing we know, she got some new teeth, a new nose, a new ass, a new mm -hmm. chin, a new cheek. She's a whole new person. She, literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> the bionic bitch. <laughs> I have to say, all of the surgeries were a huge improvement. Uh, I do enjoy what she's bringing to the game, but do you think by her winning this first episode and looking that Vegas with all the glitter and all the glitz, do you think that's a little intimidating to the other gals? Sometimes yeah. it can be, yeah. um, but... They're probably sitting there going, my drag, right? My right. drag, my drag. 
A hundred percent, but like that can only get you so far. Mm, you're saying you know, beauty only gets you so far? I just mean like, like the big costuming and the, all oh. of that stuff, you uh -huh. know what I mean? Yeah, but if I was those other bitches, I'd be like, I need to do something. Right, I step your, step your up, as T.S. Madison would say. That's it, step it up, step it up. Step it up. Uh-huh. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the control room. Mm-hmm. I know, but she's right in front of me. Yeah, I see it. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, got it. Okay, so Kahana reveals who she would have sent home. Now this is where it gets tricky now because you know this All Stars twist is where it's challenging with these bitches mm -hmm. because you're gonna pick a hoe and then you gotta actually tell everybody why you picked them. Can you relate to this? I can't relate to being scared. Oh, thank you. Uh huh. But I can't relate to having to do it. It's I mean, just but, part of the job. It, like as your as you're it's, picking. It should be the easiest thing to do. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like I remember on the second episode, I think Jiggly's was the hardest one for me to kind of do. Just only Wait, what was hard about only because, Jiggles? Only because. Oh, I do love Jiggly. Anyway, she was the right choice to pick and it was just really hard. And it took me like five minutes to actually throw it in there, but I did. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We weren't that, prepared, but it took five minutes. Well, girl, just five like, minutes of grieving. Oh, oh. Jiggly. That's what you did. Yes. <laughs> You're a cold bitch. Yeah. Ooh, hot. Jiggly. It was tough, but after that, I said, you know what? F it. All these bitches are going home. There you go. Two tears in a and bucket, mother. Not, I did not even have to think. Th think. Yeah. The next one. I was just like, I'm seeing what's happening here. I'm hearing what they're doing over here. I got to make the executive decision. They all have to go home so I can get my purse. There you go, bitch. There we go. Sure and jewelry. Works. And guess what? What? I got it. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you just got the purse, no jewelry. I got the jewelry. Okay, just It's there. I got the little thing too. Mm -hmm. A scepter. Oh, okay. You didn't get one of those. I didn't did know you? that was sign language. Yes, I got a scepter. They couldn't fit the crown on my head, bitch. <laughs> they, they gave me a scepter. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, way back when. Look at us, two chatting together. Two winners. <laughs> we <laughs> Shit, don't touch me. I want a real season. Okay, so. First of all, bitch. In this moment, we gotta get to the plot, bitch. Okay, so listen. So Kahana reveals that she also would have sent home Monica, but when they reveal who the group voted for, Darian Lake still had four votes against her. How do you think Darian is feeling? I don't know how she's feeling. I know how she's looking, though. She looks like Jan Crouch. She does look like, what, in drag or out of drag? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think what's interesting is that, you know, you think you're safe, you don't go home, and then you find out these hoes, because it's four bitches that voted for her. And then they use the cop out. Oh, Candy Muse started it. That bitch, she says, hmm. well, after hearing Monica's story, and then once she said that, everybody else, I felt the same way. I Just say, I wanted to get rid of you. So all the queens are excited about this fame game twist that they've got going on. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm curious to ask you, whose looks are you most interested in seeing from this group? Ooh, I think Jimbo is really bringing mm -hmm. it. Yep, um, yep, yep, yep. And Kahana. Yeah, the glamour she's, of it. She's bringing all the mm -hmm. the drag of it all, the yeah. the stones, the feathers, the this and that, and all that. I, I live. I think that's my two favorite. Rue enters and announces that for the Maxi Challenge this week, the queens will be performing in RDR Live, a one-take sketch comedy show like Saturday Night Live. What do you think about a challenge like this? I think they're really lucky that they get to do this mm -hmm. because I would have loved to done something like that. Do you get nervous? No. You're not a nervous person. Not anymore. Not since the accident. Oh, when was the accident? I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had an accident too when I was born. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you would have had that in your storyline, you could have won your first season. Not since the accident. There really. was an accident in my first season. Really? Yes. What was the accident? Um, I accidentally showed up as a boy. <laughs> <laughs> If you'd have had your panties, that would have been good, girl. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Are you tickled, bitch? Yeah, I'm very tickled. But <laughs> we gotta get back to the plot. So talk to me. Good luck. Do you are you a fan of Saturday Night Live? I yeah. I 
<laughs> that Listen, seems so sincere. I usually me. got something else to do on Saturday Night Live. Agreed. Or, or Saturday, Saturday Night. Saturday, yeah. Saturday yeah. Night. Yeah. But yeah, I do love it. I love, uh, I really like the 90s. Yeah. SNL, like that was some of my favorite. Like on SNL too, I know they have like a prompter just yeah. in case they need to, yeah. to read. And you could tell there was a lot of girls. Ooh. We're about to get into that. A lot of hoes reading, but in they the was wrong reading. kind of way. In the wrong <laughs> kind of way. <laughs> they got teleprompters. Yes. Read down here, we got low cards. You know what's even more up? What? We had that on our acting challenge, but I had on black contacts. Couldn't no. see shit. And yeah. I have a 10th grade education. No. <laughs> I couldn't read that shit. No. I'm just kidding. 10th grade? Yeah. Surprised you made it that far. No, was it 11? I, I can't do math. I don't know why I told you that, but. <laughs> Listen, I understand. Since the accident, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think is the key to doing well in this SNL RDR live production? Just really leaning into the character, but being that playful side that you are. Yeah. You know, um, and knowing how to read. Knowing how to read is pretty important. Oh, if only I knew how to read. How do you think you would do in this challenge? I think I would do really good, actually, mm -hmm. because I already did good on a challenge kind of like this before. Yeah, so you know what you do it. Yeah. And you're fearless. You don't give a Did it the whole way through All Stars. Yeah, you are, bitch. Next, we see the queens deciding which part they want. And of course, Miss Candy Muse wants to be the host and open the show solo. Do you think that's a smart move for somebody who's as out there as Candy is? I love Candy. I don't think her hosting yeah. would have been the best call. Mm. Just my opinion. Really? Who do you think should have hosted? Um, somebody that can open their mouth wide. <laughs> so you can <laughs> hear all the words. <laughs> okay, okay. For her, which for her. is not really a compliment, but for her, <laughs> I understood her. I thought she looked nice. Mm -hmm. She seemed somewhat relaxed. And, and then Kasha came out in the middle of her monologue to join in. How did you feel about Kasha coming in? Did I thought, that help it? Mm, uh, I saw what they were trying to do. Yeah. And I think it took a minute for Kasha to really... Uh, warm up? Warm up. Mm -hmm. That's the word. It had like moments where it was kind of like, this is going on a, a little long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. for, for you, me. for you. And you never complain about length. Yeah, mm -hmm. never, mm -hmm. never. Mm -hmm. It was too long. <laughs> you know who surprised me this episode, and I was shocked by it, was Heidi in the Closet. Heidi in Closet, I thought, I said Heidi in the Closet, but you know what I mean, Heidi. I thought Heidi was great this episode because usually when they preface it by saying, oh, I'm a comedy queen, I'm like, oh yeah, that's a nice way of saying you're ugly. But she was <laughs> really good yeah. as the news anchor. I thought she was comfortable, I thought she was delivering jokes. And right. I know for myself, I would watch her host the news, be an anchor on the news, would you? Yeah, I, I love Heidi. I've gotten to go on several tours with ah. Heidi. I know how fabulous she is, so it's so cool to get to see her on All Stars mm -hmm. and with good makeup and good hair. She good and she really has a gift. Now the rest of the cast goes smoothly until Heidi and Naysha want the same part. But Naysha gives it up and gives it away. Do you think that was a mistake? Would you give up a part for someone else? I don't know. That I've means never no. had to. That oh, no. well, on season two mm -hmm. of Drag Race, for Take me, me back. I wanted to be pink. Uh huh. And Morgan wanted to be pink. Mm. And she was very adamant about being pink. Mm -hmm. And I was the bigger person, and I let her. Mm -hmm. And be careful what you wish for, because mm -hmm. you just might get it. And what happened to her? She landed in the bottom with me. <laughs> but, <laughs> Um, anyway, I learned my lesson. Yeah, not to give back. away your parts. <laughs> to give away my parts. Well. Well, that's how we met. Yeah, that's different. <laughs> I got a couple at the house <laughs> that I'm looking for a good home. Yes. My old titties. Your but old titties. Miley me. wants them. So your old titties? My old breast and Oh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Can I have one? One? You want one? Mm, yeah. What you want? <laughs> that's an old reference, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh. Look that up. Woo. Speaking of yeah, yeah. Is this appropriate for us to even fix? I don't know, they'll fix it in post. They'll fix it in post. Not your titties, but this moment, they'll fix it in post. Well, I fixed my titties Yeah, before. they look good. Thank they look you. Really nice. Yeah, from here, I can't see the hair at all. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm going to an electrolysis. Oh, that's good. Can you spell electrolysis? No, but neither can my phone, apparently. <laughs> what does your phone say? Electrolysis. And it spells? 
It spells uh, not electrolysis. <laughs> it spells electrolysis. Wait, wait, does Siri say that? Uh, it, <laughs> electrolysis. Where's my phone? Not electrolysis. Anyway, I don't know if it's the way I talk. Could be. It probably is. Mm -hmm, since the accident. Because sometimes when I tell Siri to turn the lights on in the house, she says, turning all lights off. I'm like, on, bitch, on. Oh, I thought you were going to say, when you tell Siri, turn on all the lights, she goes, pay your bill, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my bills are paid. Of course they are, because you did not do pink. That's why. I did That's not do why. pink. You did not do pink. I did mm -hmm. not. No pink but here. No pink here. I did Lady Gaga and they sent my ass to the house. It's all right. We don't tell that part of the story. We don't. Tell that part of the story. Mm -mm. We just tell the part of the story where Morgan looks bad. <laughs> What's interesting, I'm watching this room right now and I'm seeing all these hoes, you know, kind of speculating and being a little messy. And I'm curious if you think the same thing I think. Do you think Candy Muse is going to be the pot stirrer of the season? Because she's not even in a group and she's talking about the other group. Candy is going to say what Candy was on Candy's mind. Mm -hmm. And you need a bitch that ain't there to come back and like... And be congenial. Congenial, mm -hmm. try to have control of the narrative of who yeah. they are. Bitch, show up, bitch. Show up and show out and say exactly what's on your mind. Meanwhile, Jessica Wilde, our favorite, mm -hmm. mentions she has learned what a golden shower is. <laughs> ah, me any, too. Do, any thoughts on that moment? Um, yeah, it reminded me of this one time Tell I dated me. this guy mm -hmm. and he asked me to give him a golden shower. Okay. And I hated him. Yeah. He made me so mad. I was like, well, go get in the shower. Okay. And then I peed on him. Really? And I was like peeing on his chest and he was like screaming. Yeah. But he liked it. It was so weird. Really? So that yeah. was an acting challenge for you. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's difficult. You see, and I, I won. I don't think if anybody asked me to pee, if I could pee on the spot. I was not happy. Yeah, it's very with, challenging. With them. See, I'm nervous I'd be concentrating so hard I'd shit on the person. <laughs> That's a different thing. That is. Look, is. I don't yuck nobody's yum, but bitch, I, I'm gonna talk about it. Yeah, yep, yeah, talk <laughs> 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 We're literally talking <laughs> 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 Now back to the reason why we're here. Although we've never, we haven't even discussed this We have yet. not. We have not, but it doesn't matter because Kylie doesn't come to visit every day. Well, okay, you've so. never invited me to Palm Springs, by the way. You're allowed to come out anytime you want. Every hoe has been out there. Okay, let's talk about RDR Live, RuPaul's uh, Drag Race Live. And who do you think stood out to you the strongest? Ooh, um, Jimbo and Jessica for me. Oh, funny shit. To me, their segment was the best part. I thought they really worked well together and very funny. I thought Kasha Davis's little cameo was funny when she came in oh as the God. butch one with the gardening trouble. Scared me. Yeah, <laughs> very lifelike. I thought they were all really good together and really tight. And I gotta say, Heidi was pretty fabulous as a news yeah. anchor. And uh, and then I would probably put third, fourthly, maybe third or fourthly, I would put Candy Muse for the opening. It was fine. Yeah, yeah it was fine. It was good. But those were my front runners. I definitely thought okay. they were the best. Do you agree with that? <laughs> Yes, I don't know what is happening with me today. It's air. Is that what it is? It's air trapped inside of you. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think struggled the most with this challenge? <laughs> me. No. I feel like Lala never got her like rhythm mm -hmm. with it, and I feel like Kahana was. I feel like she could have did more with her character. You were saying that when we were watching, you were like, she could have been more Eartha Kitt. Eartha she could have been more, you know what well, I mean? Darling. Yeah, I, I would have loved to see more. Well, what did you think about Nasha? She was just being really loud and campy. And I think this is an opportunity where we, we're beyond that on Drag Race now. Yeah. It's like really show off your acting skills. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, she had time very, to rehearse. She had plenty of time to rehearse. Yeah. Um, but just some people, it's just not their their thing. What's oh. interesting is that Nasha did what she did with that scene and she actually gave up the part for Heidi. Can you imagine her as the news anchor? I don't think mm. she would have been better in that. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I think, yeah, no. Here mm -hmm. in this moment, I thought, oh wow, she's struggling and it's not gonna look good in the end. Everybody else is doing really good and you just kind of are like this oddball, then you're just gonna stick out even more. True, so. and the jokes are there, you know, just read the lines, read the lines. Cause if you're not gonna read the lines, at least snort them. <laughs> well, it sounded like, like she did. <laughs> well, it did. She was talking pretty fast. <laughs> Ooh, we've all been there. <laughs> I have to say that I was watching that little news segment and I got a little teary-eyed when I saw Lady Bunny and the prolapse anus. I thought, 
this is sad. You know, they're taking my good friend's life story and making fun of it. And as you know, I'm a very serious person. So this truly upset me. But then it got worse when they showed my picture and said I fell out of her ass. Well, my thing is, when was that news? That's old news. <laughs> Ain't that the <laughs> ah. truth. That is nothing I that is saying... newsworthy. We all know she got a prolapse hole. I just don't understand how you can get a prolapse hole when you can't even get anybody to you. <laughs> <laughs> don't you talk about... <laughs> Facts. Facts. Now, next up is runway time. And the category is net gala. Now, we touched on this a little bit earlier, but I want to hear your take one by one of what you think of the girls. All right? Okay. Here we go. So, Naisha was first, right? First up, <laughs> Miss Naisha Lopez. What do you think of the look? I think she looks pretty. I think she looks good. First of all, I love this dress. I would it's totally wear dress. this dress. Her body looks amazing in it. Um, but it's it's not giving me net gala. Uh -huh. And I just don't see that with this hair. Mm -hmm. And we talked about this before. These girls that wear these flat wigs to their head, it looks like they just did the ice bucket challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Ice bucket <laughs> challenge wig is my new favorite description. I think it's a good look. I think it should be a little more elevated. Yeah. Look, we know she's gorgeous. We know that. I just felt like there should have been more drama. More drama. Next up, we have Miss James Mansfield. Right, okay. <laughs> that is never a good sign. I love it. I don't immediately get net. Yeah. With this. Okay, so you put some a net on your rollers. Yeah, hair net. Yeah, I got it. I got it. It's almost like too literal, I would say. Mm. But yet, if she didn't have the hair net, we'd go, what? She got a little net bodysuit? It's good for her. It's good for her. It's good for her. Next up, <laughs> we have Candy Muse. I don't have a problem with it. I just have a problem with the placement of the face. Like, it's a little too... Yeah, I, d I don't have words, I just have movements that I, I think if the face were a little further down, I don't know, a little more of a focal point as opposed to just being up here on her shoulder. Yeah, I don't. I really don't know how to critique this, honestly, because I, I don't get net gala. For me. Got gotcha. you. For me. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, that's how we justify everything. Here we go. For me. I love this look. Yeah. Well, I can't really, what is the hair doing? Flat. Ice bucket, Ice challenge. bucket challenge. Ice bucket ponytail. I hope they raise enough money. <laughs> She can't even raise her hair, bitch. <laughs> okay, next up, we have Mrs. Kasha Davis. Mm. <sighs> okay, first of all, first of all. Talk. Why? <laughs> From the body down, it looks like um, a peewee coach legs. <laughs> Very specific. Very that. I have to agree with you. It looks like... It looks like the bottom half of her came off the Mayflower. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. And where'd the top half come from? I have no idea. So it's just a, a weird look. Like there's butterflies, there's flowers. It's a lot going on. And then we got that face. Next up, we have Jimbo. Pretty amazing, right? Yeah, be creative. I mean, yeah. this is an opportunity to be creative. I think it's a very clever idea and, and I... Truly, Jimbo, two episodes in, it's, I'm like, I want to see more. She, I want to see more. This is what I like to see on Drag Race. What Jimbo is doing is beyond, you yeah. know? And, and I love it, and she's created her own lane. Next, we have Miss Jessica Wilde, our second butterfly catcher of the uh, night. Yeah. But, but we both said her butterfly catcher was better. It but was even better. though we're friends and even though we love her, we didn't like the wig. Did not like the wig. It does not go. Mm -hmm. But I did love what she was given yeah. here. Yeah. And she did so great in the challenge. I bet if she had a stronger look, she probably could have won this challenge as well. I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing. The outfit was well done. It was very flattering on yeah. her. But the hair was just kind of mm, not my favorite. Yeah. Next up, we have Miss Heidi. Miss Heidi. Miss what Heidi is in the closet. With, is she wearing culottes? What do they call that? It's a look. It's a look. This is my positives about it. I loved her face. I thought, and I'm not a fan of the Ice Challenge wig, but this wig actually looks good on her face. This she looks, looks like a gorgeous rapper from the 90s. The outfit, because, maybe because it's black, I couldn't read that it was net from a distance. And I'm hoping we don't have to see this little uh, emblem of her teeth every episode. She's been sticking it on everything. Because if you ask me if that was net, I would go, I don't see no net. I don't see no net either. I don't see no net. She's cut off her legs mm -hmm. and her ankle. 
She's given Kasha Davis tees. Oh, she's given us peewee legs. She's given us that. Like if I'd have had those pants during Hurricane Katrina, they would have never got wet. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. And she's got a rain boot on too. She does have a rain boot. <laughs> Tricky. Just in case. Just in case. All right, next up we have Miss Lala Ree. Yes. <laughs> yes, is what you feel. I, I like this dress. I like the dress. I know that you said you would like it to be a little bit longer. I like things to the floor. I wish it was a little longer. I think it's great. I think it's a safe look. I think it's sexy. I, she I looks really, gorgeous I, in it. I really think this dress is sexy. It gives the same uh, feeling that Nasha's did. Yeah, pretty you know? and gorgeous, but not really exciting. Kahana Montrese. I mean. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, she looks incredible, yeah. right? Yeah, it's a lot of she's, look. She's doing, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. You never know if you got another day, so give it all you got. I gotta say, I like the idea of the look. I would have done some things a little different. Once again, it's the, the hat, crown, hair moment. There's some things yeah. that I don't like about it, but I think the outfit looks expensive. She spent time on it. Everything is stoned for an inch of its life. And you know, with that body, let's be real, she can wear anything. I don't know if you can relate, but with that body, she can wear anything. Yeah, uh, and she chose to wear that. You I'm just it? kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Miss Darian Lake. Yes. Here she is as the basketball. She brought the hoop. Okay, I'm gonna say creative idea. Thinking outside the box. The dress is executed beautifully. I knew exactly what it was when she came out. I thought she looks absolutely gorgeous. I was confused, honestly. You was confused. You didn't know it was, was basketball. Well, because the the net was yeah. not giving me basketball. Whatever that thing is. Yeah, the net. The net. Yeah. Wasn't giving me that. But uh, I see it now. I and do. It looks good. And finally, Miss Alexis Michelle. She's gorgeous mm -hmm. to me, but she just, uh, I feel like she's just too uptight. Like she's mm. petrified or something. Yeah. Like she just wants to make sure that everything is like perfect. I really like it, but this thing right here is like folding and collapsing and stuff like that. So it kind of looks weird, but I love the silhouette of it. I think she looks absolutely stunning. I think face and hair, absolutely gorgeous. Good mm -hmm. proportions here, beautiful. The dress, the idea, I love. Construction-wise, I feel like there's certain things she doesn't feel comfortable in it, but it is a gorgeous idea. But also, it just doesn't read enough net for me. So, Kylie, who had your favorite look? My favorite look is Jimbo. Hands Jimbo down. was your favorite look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And your least favorite look? Yours. <laughs> 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 That's another accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, uh, Kasha Davis, girl. Oof, it was the peewee legs. It was the legs yeah. for me, girl. So after the judges' critiques, we found out that the winner this week is Jimbo. Do you agree? Of I course. I know the answer. Yeah. I know the answer. Yeah. It's yeah. yes. Well deserved win, Jimbo. Applause, 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 applause. Mm -hmm. When sadly, in the bottom, the two are Nasha and Kahana. Do you agree? Yes. Performance-wise. Yeah, I absolutely. think so, yeah. Which really sucks. I know, it does, don't, don't you think it actually sucks for Kahana, who just won last week? So literally, yeah. she was here, and now she's here. Well, that's what happened with Yada on season six of All Stars. Yeah. She won the first challenge and was in the bottom of the second one. Yeah. Next, we find out that the lip sync assassin is Pangina Heels, mm. which is shady <laughs> because you know she has history with Jimbo. She does. And now she is faced with her again. I thought this is going to be good. So Jimbo and Pangina lip sync to She Bop by Cindy Lauper. What did you think of the lip sync? Okay, we could say what we said in the room. What did we say? They could have both gone home. Oh, yeah. It was lackluster. I was ready for the magic. I was. Mm. I actually thought that Jimbo did better than Pang Jai. But you disagree with the judges. I do. You disagree. I only thought- this time. Only this time. Only this time. I, I would say that the, the, the number was all right. But then in a shocking turn of events, RuPaul says Pangina is the winner. So that means the $20,000 goes into next week. And thank God we got Candy Muse as the narrator going, that's $30,000. $30,000. Dollars. That was the clearest I've ever heard. I mean, honestly, <laughs> she's keeping tabs. Nothing she gets past did. that candy muse. So, Pangina then reveals her lipstick, and the group has decided to send home Nasha. Was she the right choice? Yes. Agreed. It took me a second. I know, it's fine. It's fine. It took you five minutes to get rid of Jiggly, but this time you had to really <laughs> think about Nasha. Ah. And now we have to follow her with the twist and see her runway looks yeah. online. That's that's what we have to so, do. 
And let's hope she can bring win it to that. the runway. Please. Let's bring it to the runway. But her acting was. It was, the choices she made. I think she has potential, but sadly couldn't deliver on the spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we deliver, we do. We do. You pissed on that man. You can do anything. You can do anything. He asked me I to. I know he asked, but you did it. That's the talent. Have you ever you. done it? No, I haven't done it. I told you, I can't pee on the spot. I can't pee. <laughs> All right, Polly. Well, now we are two episodes in, and I know it's rather early, but I like to ask everyone who visits <gasps> me, if you had to choose a winner, if you had to choose a front runner from these two episodes, who would it be? Just one. All right, give me two. I'm gonna say Jessica and Jimbo. Okay, I gotta say Jimbo has been delivering performance and runway, which is a good thing. But I do like Jessica Wilde, so fingers crossed that Jessica makes as well. I mean, she can't speak English, but that's why I love her. <laughs> that's why I love her. I love everything about her. Yes. Yeah, you notice she keeps referencing. I couldn't speak English back then. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? I couldn't speak Spanish back then. And can you now? I know enough to get me into trouble. I don't know enough to get me out of it. Interesting. <laughs> yes. Inter <laughs> and that, my friends, brings us to the end. Must Kyle Sonic Club, thank you for coming and spending your day with me. Did you have a good time? I did. Yes. I really, really did. Good. Well, uh, we hope that you come back again in the future as well. Yes, me yes. too. Maybe even a uh, host. Yes, bitch. Work it but out. It stop. Work it out. Take over your job. First of all. She'll be pissing all over the seat. <laughs> now, thank you for watching us here at The Pit Stop. Make sure you catch us next week for episode three, where we recap all things RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars season eight. See you then. Bye. <laughs> Oof, I need to go Bye. pee on somebody. Come on, pee on me, honey. You want me to pee on you? Yeah. We can make a video. It's that cold would, in here anyway. That would be good. It'd be warm for just a minute. It would be. <laughs> Speaking of panties. Yes. I need to like walk over there real quick. Okay, you go ahead. Take I just your need time. to adjust. Go ahead. Take your time. Yes. It's Take your time. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm loving this it's episode. Like <laughs> cut off the circulation. Oh, I forgot. I used to have so much fun with oh. something. Oh. Oh. It hurts. We're it's on numb. card number four. <laughs> it's numb. Oh, uh, it's numb. Fix it, baby. You fix it's it. Numb. I'm scared I might break a nail. Girl, a if I keep sitting like that, I'll save myself $30,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so nutty. Oh, hey, everybody, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want Emmy-nominated gay <laughs> Well, then subscribe to RuPaul's Drag Race on YouTube.